It's Friday, August 1st, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. The university recently received a nearly $1.9 million grant from the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency. The grant will expand and transform the scope of UTEP's Intelligence and National Security Studies program. The program will be rebranded into the National Security Studies Institute, which will have a broader academic focus and add a specific research arm. The new institute will introduce a bachelor's degree that includes linguistic, cultural, and analytic specialties, as well as a graduate certificate. Part of the university's commitment to student success is increasing the quality of life for those enrolled. That includes the new multi-purpose field at UTEP Student Recreation Center. The upgrade, which is almost complete, includes light pole fencing and sand volleyball courts. The finishing touches include the installation of an irrigation system for the adjacent landscaping. Peter P. and El Paso Chihuahua's mascot Chico are teaming up to celebrate UTEP Centennial. Today, August 1st, both mascots will be available to meet and greet fans and take photos with them from 1 to 2 p.m. at the Centennial Museum. While there, Minor and Chihuahua's fans also can buy their tickets from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. to the Chihuahua's UTEP Centennial Night Game on Thursday, August 28th. Also starting today, the UTEP and El Paso communities are encouraged to submit their favorite photos of the university as part of the Centennial Photo Contest. Each person may submit up to two camera or smartphone photos through September 12th. Visit transformations.utep.edu for contest rules and categories. Winners will be revealed at the opening of the Centennial Photo Contest exhibit on November 8th at the Centennial Museum. The exhibit will be on display through January 15th, 2015. Congratulations to UTEP track and field alumna Blessing Okabari. She secured Nigeria's first athletics gold medal of this year's Commonwealth Games in Scotland. The Olympic bronze medalist became only the second African to win the women's 100-meter title since 1994. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!